Building upon the development of SteadyRef support in FeatureCam 2014, FeatureCam 2015 now supports travelling SteadyRefs. Instigated through the use of a user-defined feature, this new function increases the flexibility of programming very long-turned parts. In this example, we can see we've got this turned component and it's quite substantial in length. Here you can see I've marked out one of the turn sections is over a metre long. What we want to do is we want to program the part and as we're programming the part we want to move the steady rest along to continuously support as we turn this section here. We've also got the use of a tailstock on this particular machine. In this case if I go to the browser area there is a folder location. If I open that folder you should notice there is an add-in and there is also a CNC file and a machine simulation file. In this case I'm going to use all of these components for my simulation process. In this case I want to load the add-in first of all. So to do this I'm going to go to my options, add-ins and I'm going to load the add-in in. I do this by going back to my folder location and then just drag in and drop the add-in into the feature cam interface. That loads in like so. I can say OK and that add-in is now ready to use. Current state of the simulation at the moment we've already got the feature created here but I'm going to create a new one. I'm just going to play through the simulation to see what we've got. So here's my machine tool, here's my part on the machine, like so. What I want to do is I want to play through the simulation. So the first stage of the simulation is the steady rest will come along to position to hold the part. We then got an initial facing operation and then a turning operation working its way so far along the component. Here the part is nicely supported with the steady rest. So we work our way through the finish turn operation, we've now got a milling operation for the side for the keyway on the top of the component. The next stage of the simulation, if I just single step this, is you should start to see the tailstock will come into position. That comes in, positions itself at the base of the component, like so. The steady rest now releases, and again if I single step, you can see the steady rest is moving to its new position on the currently turned stock. We now retract and change tool. In this case we're going to use this turning tool to work our way along the component. At this stage what we want to do is as we're turning along the shape of the component we want the steady rest to continuously move uh, to support the part. If I just click through you can see the turning operation like so. So it's at this stage this is where the steady rest needs to move. Let's stop the simulation and create the feature. To create the feature I'm going to go New Feature, Turning Operation, I'm going to choose a user defined feature and I'm going to select this one. In this case you can see here we've got Travelling Steady Rest On and Travelling Steady Rest Off. For the sake of this demonstration I'm just going to turn it on and allow it to follow. Let's choose Next. We've then got some parameters that we wish to set. So we've got the follow distance, how close it follows behind, We've got the tool starting point where we want the tool to start. We've then got the maximum diameter of the component, the overall cutting length, the starting Z for the steady rest itself, and also whether we're back turning. In this case, the positions of these I'm going to set, so the follow distance I'll keep as default. The cutting tool starting Z, I'm just going to set this, uh, this length is approximately 200, so I'm going to set this just slightly less, so we'll go to minus 190, and I'll say set. The diameter of the component is 125, so we'll set that. And the cut length in this case we've got 1130 millimeters, so we can set that to be the value, like so. Starting Z location in this case is wherever we put it to. In this case we put it to 150 millimeters, so again I'm going to set that position. Choose Next, we get a summary, and I'm just going to say Finish. I've now got my traveling steady rest feature, I'm going to put that somewhere in my list and then I'm going to update in this case the miscellaneous parameter and set that to be option 7, so this is the seventh item I want to occur. I can now run through my 3D simulation again with the machine tool. So let's step through. Again, you can see the steady rest comes to position. We 
we turn the face, we do the first turn on the front, we machine that keyway, tailstock comes into position. Once the tailstock is there, we're then ready to move the steady rest to the front position. If I single step again, you should see the turning tool appears. I'm just going to drop the speed of the simulation down and then just play to the next operation. You'll see in this case the, the steady rest will now follow the turning tool. The steady rest will continue until it reaches the centre of the component or the centre of that cut distance. In this case the tool is finished there. We can now release the steady rest. Steady rest comes back to the front position. And then finally, I can release the tail stock. The part is now fully supported as we want. We can go ahead and cut the grooves. I've now finished my component, got to a stage that I'm happy with, and the part's been fully supported throughout.